You know, Roger, one of the reasons why the, you enjoyed a good relationship with your offensive line is, is that Roger used to lift weights with the offensive line, which is un incredible for a quarterback to do that and, and beat some of them a good bit of the time. Um, yeah. Coach Myers, I don't know if uh, any of y'all know, but I used to play, I was an offensive guy in college, and uh, when I was drafted in the pros um, and came to Dallas, uh, I was, one of the things that, that I was really glad of is that I was on the defensive side of the ball when I started hearing Coach Myers visiting with his offensive lineman. Real pleased with that. And, uh, and also, Coach Myers, not only did he, did he have the responsibility of uh, bed check, um, but he, he also was the person that was the, uh, the hatchet man, called players and to tell them that they were now released from the team, cut from the team, if you would. Um, well, about three weeks into the preseason, I, there was one more preseason game left. We were staying at the old Holiday Inn down at Central Expressway, and um, Coach Myers called my room around 11 o'clock in the morning and said, hey, rookie, get your playbook, go see Coach Landry at 1 o'clock, okay? So I'm cut, and I know I'm cut. And uh, it was rough on me, and I started thinking, what was, what was I thinking? There's no chance I could ever play defense in the NFL. I was an offensive guy in college, and who was I fooling? Started thinking about what I was going to have to tell my fraternity brothers and all my friends, my family, and I cried. I called my brothers and my mom. And then two hours later, about 15 minutes before, I had to go see Coach Landry. Coach Myers called me and says, Rookie, we made a mistake. <laughs> We made a mistake. I'd played in that same All-Star game, and so I was allowed to stay another week. I wasn't counted on the roster, so they really didn't need to cut me. And, and he explained that to me, and I said, are you s me, if you know what I'm saying? I mean, I, my life, was I was dead. I was a dead person, and, it, and, I, and I was a phoenix now. They brought me out of the ashes, and I said, are you s me, or that word that we shouldn't say, and Coach Meyer said, hey, don't you ever cuss on this phone. Don't, don't you ever cuss to a, to a coach. And, um, and it, <laughs> so from then on, I, I stayed clear of Coach Myers. And, uh, <laughs> but I, I, I also had an awful lot of respect for him. I know the kind of discipline that he had and, and the discipline that he displayed uh, on the field. Uh, and to the offensive line, the offensive line is probably the most cohesive group of all the players in the NFL. And they all have to know exactly what everybody else is doing. And that guy made sure everybody knew what they were doing and doing it right. Thank you, Coach Myers. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm very...